Many love the art of being stylish on a budget, but I may have taken it to a whole new level because I've challenged myself to build the perfect wardrobe with the lowest budget possible, zero dollars. Now this may seem impossible, but in this series, I've allowed myself to sell my old unused clothing on social media sites, which in turn will give me a budget to start purchasing my new wardrobe with. In the first two episodes, I've managed to not only sell a few pieces of my own, but I've even been able to purchase a few pieces from Uniqlo and these glasses from Amazon last episode. Not to mention I also currently have just about $230 to spend. Now at the end of the last episode, I said I would be taking a trip to Dallas to potentially do some shopping. And now that I'm back in Windsor, I can finally show y'all everything I purchased. So be sure to stay tuned for the full duration of this video because I have plenty of new pieces that you might just want. Not to mention my first large purchase of this series will be in this video so you won't wanna miss that. So keep watching because it's now time to recap my amazing trip to Dallas. This right here is everything that I purchased from Dallas. Now if you had to take a rough guess, what do you think all of these clothes costed me? Keep in mind we have a leather duffel bag, five tees, three hoodies, a flannel, leather jacket. Now I already know y'all won't believe the answer because it's honestly insane. Everything that I have behind me plus everything I got from my girlfriend and her family, I paid only $50 US. That's right, only $50. Now that's honestly pretty insane to me because I got all of these items from just one store. Not to mention if I purchased all these clothes at a thrift store in my city, it would cost me easily at least $400. Now for that $50 price tag, I didn't get only just this and what I have behind me is really only half of what we purchased. Since there's no technical way for me to actually price everything I purchased, I'm just gonna be fair and say that I purchased everything behind me for $40 US. Converted into Canadian is just about $53.46, meaning after the Dallas trip and all of these new clothes, our new total for the Perfect Wardrobe Fund is $177.54. Now let me tell y'all, that is so crazy, I can't even wrap my mind around it. The fact that I only spent that much and I got so much out of it just means that in this episode with the items that I plan on selling, we should be able to easily double the current amount in our fund before the end of the episode. I do wanna take a few minutes to show you guys every piece that I purchased on my trip and what I've decided to sell. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna try and breeze through this as fast as possible because I do have a ton to do. So let's go ahead and get started with my first ever leather duffel bag, which is this one that has the Office Depot logo on it. But if you're not looking up close, then it just looks like a plain back duffel bag. Next, we got one of my favorite pieces that I picked up. And believe it or not, I've already gotten like two or three wears out of this camp shirt. Just looking at the material of the shirt, you would think that this is made of linen, but it is a cotton polyester blend and looks super fine. Now this t-shirt is actually one that I'm gonna be selling. It is this vintage in and out shirt. As you can see, it doesn't have too much on the front. The back graphic is really what is amazing about this shirt. As you can see, it's super vibrant, super colorful. And once again, really just has a dope vintage feel. So if y'all are interested, this will be uploaded on the Depop. Can't hate on the all over print Adidas. This is a size large, and I'm also gonna be selling this piece on my Depop. Now this one's a personal. This tee, I'm, I'm really a fan of the graphic. Now on the back, we have life short, live tall. I'm a short guy, but I'm gonna be living tall and we're gonna be keeping this shirt because it's super fire. Now for my Popeye fans out there, you will be able to get your hands on this when I upload it to my Depop, so that means one of y'all can have it. Now this hoodie right here is the one that I decided to keep for my personal collection. It's really nothing too crazy, I'm just a fan of the gray and red. Not to mention it is printed on Champion, which y'all already know is pretty decent quality, which is why I'm very excited to add this hoodie to my collection. Now this one's for my big guys out there, considering this hoodie is a 3XL, but if y'all look at the graphic, it's super hard. It's another Popeye piece, and similar to the last hoodie, is sticking with that gray and red color. Rounding off with one of the last few tops. I got this orange, red, and almost bluish flannel. It is slightly big for me right now, but I do have plans of cropping it and making it a better boxy fit. If that works out, I will be keeping it. For another one of my favorite pieces, I got my first ever authentic leather jacket. This is honestly great quality, super thick, and if y'all can see up close, there is really no issues with the leather. I'm super happy with this whole haul because literally for this jacket alone, I would have paid over 50 dollars for so I feel like I definitely got my money's worth. I only found three pairs of pants that I like and I'm keeping all the next ones in my collection. Starting off we have these green linen pants. I actually talked about wanting to get a pair of linen pants. I've already wore them about three or four times and I won't lie I definitely need a few more pairs. Of them. Now next we got this beautiful gray wash pair of Levi 501s. Now I do have a pair of these in black and those happen to be one of my favorite pairs of pants so you know I had to double it and get a pair in gray. Now for the last pair of pants we got these black Dickies cargos. I am keeping these ones for now but they are slightly big because honestly these are a 36 waist and I'm more like a 33 
So obviously they are a little big. Thinking I might just keep them for like a month or two, then probably upload them to my Depop. Now last but not least, we got one of my favorite pieces, which is this dope beach bag from Hard Rock. Now this is another piece that I think was super worth it for the $50, because this is a bag that I'll honestly be wearing a ton. Whether I wear it like a crossbody, a regular duffel bag, or a backpack, this bag has many uses, and I'll make sure that it's fully worth it and utilized in my closet. Now that's it for all the items I got from Dallas. Now quickly, I'm gonna spend a few minutes put all the pieces that are gonna be my personals away in my closet. Once I'm done that, I'm gonna spend another few minutes to round up all the pieces that I wanna sell. So stay tuned because I'm selling some heat. Now as you can see from the clothes behind me, I have a decent amount of pieces to go through, and majority of these pieces are the ones that I just picked up at the Dallas bin. So first, I'm thinking about going through all the tops and taking the pictures with them on this rack. And then once I'm done that, going ahead and grabbing pictures of the pants and the glasses on my bed with the black bedspread. And then finally, I want to go through every single piece, get a few clips for the TikTok because I've been pretty inactive over there and it's been about a week since I've posted. So I want to go ahead and get on that and not fall off. And hopefully doing all of this and getting these pieces sold will add another two to three hundred dollars to my perfect wardrobe fund, which will bump me up to around the five hundred dollar range. And maybe I can start thinking about getting some shoes and really doing some serious shopping. All I know is I'm very excited, so I'm just gonna get to work. Now I just finally finished up all my editing for the night, got both the pictures and the TikToks done and ready to be posted on the page. It is 10.30 p.m. so it is kind of past my posting deadline as I like to post on TikTok from like 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. So I'm probably gonna post that tomorrow along with the pictures that I took of all the clothes that I got from Dallas and everything that I showed y'all. Now before I sign off for the night, we did get another sale which were the Cream Dickies work pants. And I got just about $33 after fees on this one, making our perfect wardrobe tally up to whatever's on the screen. Tomorrow I'm gonna be uploading a whole lot of stuff so I'm expecting quite a few sales and hopefully some type of thrift shopping. Really depends what we have time for. So that's it for tonight, but make sure to stay tuned for all the action that I have planned for tomorrow. It's now the next day and boy am I ready to make some money. Priority number one for today is getting as many sales as possible. I have a bunch of new things to upload on Depop as well as one new TikTok to put on the page so I can promote it as much as possible. And I'm hoping that in the next few hours we can get about three or four sales and really start racking in some dough so I can make some pretty big purchases. Now I mentioned earlier in the intro that today's episode will have one of my biggest purchases throughout this whole series. And obviously I'm waiting for the budget to go up but what I had in mind were some type of sneakers. Now I'm not too sure what shoe I want yet but honestly, I don't want to get too ahead of myself. So I'm going to go ahead and get some Depop listings up as well as the TikTok. Then check back in with y'all in a few hours to give y'all a little bit of progress. <sighs> so I definitely had some higher expectations for Depop and how things were going to be moving with the sales. Especially because how the series has been going up till now. I haven't had much problem selling my items. Now it's been about two days since I last seen y'all and I've only gotten one sale since. These glasses that I only got about $10 on. Now obviously for this episode I was hoping to have gotten about $200 so that I can go ahead and buy some shoes. But unfortunately right now it's it's not looking so hot. Now I'm going to try and grind out some more TikToks and do more promotion to the Depop. And hopefully I can get some sales before the end of the episode. But I won't lie right now hopes are definitely low i'll see y'all when i got an update Y'all, I'm in a great mood today. Not only did my new samples for my clothing brand come in, which are super fire, by the way, but I also just got back from my P.O. box in Michigan, and I got some pretty insane packages. As y'all can see from the boxes, these are kicks from New Balance, and if you were wondering, no, I didn't use the whole wardrobe fund to pay for these shoes. For those that don't know, I also make fashion content over on TikTok and Instagram, and I managed to stag myself a brand deal with Foot Locker and New Balance. Now, that doesn't mean that this video is sponsored, but they did send me out two free pairs of shoes and some money to go Go ahead and make some content for their upcoming campaign which means for my perfect wardrobe i just got two new pairs of shoes for absolutely free and to be 100 honest i don't even know what pairs they sent me so let's go ahead and check them out which one do we open first i'm thinking we go with with the red first now we got a great box i'm still not too sure what the shoe is and okay for the first shoe we got ourselves the new balance 990 v6 and this super dope gray colorway. Now honestly, these are one of my favorite colorways in this shoe and I'm super glad that they sent these out. I'll probably be wearing these quite a bit day to day and I already know that these are gonna be super comfortable so I cannot wait. Now I do recognize this box here and if I'm right, 
these should be a pair of New Balance 550s. Ah, boy, was I right. We got a pair of New Balance 550s. And these are in like a dope Michigan colorway. Now guys, this is absolutely insane. And I just want to first say thank you to New Balance and Foot Locker for sending out these fire kicks. Not to mention thanks to everybody who follows me over on my other platforms because y'all are honestly the reason that this was even possible. Now there's no way I see myself topping anything like that for the rest of this episode. So I think we're going to have to call it at that. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed, please consider leaving a comment and subscribing to the channel for more fashion content. Make sure to check out this playlist here to watch the previous episodes for this series. I'm posting a new episode weekly, so I will be seeing you guys soon. As always, make sure to have a good day and peace.